What's up, guys? It's Venom Reviews, and today we're gonna do episode 90. Yeah, so today we're gonna do episode 90. Yeah, what a big milestone we're at. And as you can see, I got a haircut. That's why I didn't make a video this morning. I'm sorry. I was gonna do one, and I was just finishing up this enchantment season three, which is gonna be a review coming soon. And so, yeah. So today, we're going to do a special request from, what's his name? Hold on a minute. Okay. Yeah, it's another special request from Zero Bam with two M's. I guess you can see here, I'm watching Legend of Korra. I'm almost done with that. I'm halfway done with that. And so this, of course, today we're going to do the 1961, yeah, 19, no, what are we doing? Yeah, 1961 film, The Innocents. Which is based off the book that I never read because, for me, that none of our schools actually read us read some of the good books. So yeah, The Innocence. Hold on, give me a minute. The Innocence is a 1961 horror fantasy drama, I guess, movie from 1961, which is based off the book, The Turn of the Screw, which sounds way better than the, than the actual movie, The Innocence, which I don't know what the word means, but yeah. 94 in Rotten Tomatoes, Jesus Christ, okay. Yeah. I finished watching it this morning. And boy, do I have a lot to talk about it. And I do, yes. <clears throat> well, thank you so much for this request, Zero Bam. Please shout out him. I'm going to give him another shout out when I watch Seven. And Phantom of Diablo, don't worry. So, anyway. Um, yeah, The Innocence. So if you don't know, it's based off the, the book. A woman who takes a governor's job for two orphans at a Victoria home, then she becomes, she believes ghosts and suspects the children's bizarre behavior and result of supernatural powers. Well, that part is halfway right. <laughs> the supernatural powers, I don't know what they're doing with, but yeah. As you can see from the poster here, here's one of the posters of the movie, even though this is a black and white film for some reason. But anyway... This movie, it's an hour and 40. It felt like almost three hours, to be honest. I was just starting to get bored. Yeah. It's just not great. It's better than the spiraling staircase, that's for sure. But this one was just not as good. But it's just, I don't know. I mean, I understand it was the 60s. Yes. But it's just like, if this movie was in color and actually more scary, I think it would be fine. I think it would have been fine, I guess. I don't know. I'd give it a 6.5 out of 10. I don't know. It's just not for me. Yeah, the children part. Yes. There's going to be lots of spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. I mean, you can find the movie on YouTube, but it's just like... Looks like there's also a TV show. Yeah. I mean, it looks like... Yeah, there was a TV show. And it looks like there was also a remake in 2016. Maybe I'll find that version. Maybe it's better than the first one. But yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, my films. Here we go. I think this is me. Mm, yeah. Nope. So I watched WandaVision today, too. Here, maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll turn down the light. There we go. That's perfect. Can I turn it down one more? Oh, no. That's, I guess, that's what it is. Okay. Yeah. This is way better. Wait, hold on. Yeah, this is way better than the Hereditary. The Wicker Man, the 1970s version. Midsummer. Yeah, that's about it. It's not even scary. It's confusing at the end because it's like the ending is just like, oh, what happened? Because at the end of the movie, okay, here we go, we can turn this off now finally. Yeah. Now hold on, I'll be back in a Yes. Ah, <laughs> great, really adds. Yeah. The ending sucked, to be honest. Because what I'm confused about. You've probably seen the movie as it is. Where is it? Um, yeah, right about here. Yeah, where the main maid, where the main woman 
tells the kid to say the, the guy's name, but it's like he was dead anyway. So it's like, what's the, even the point of this movie? Because it's like, he sees her, the dead person, the dead guy, Peter, whatever. What did I say? Um, I swear I made a comment about this. Here we go. Yeah, Peter Quint. And then even though he's dead, then Miles dies for no reason. And it's like, I don't understand how he died. That doesn't make any sense. It's just like, the ending sucks. Everything else is about this movie sucks. It's not great. <laughs> it's a little scary. I got scared once, but it's just like, it was way too long of an hour and 40, to be honest. I feel like I was watching this for like three hours almost. So yeah, not a great movie. But still, I'll leave a link in the description below of the movie. <laughs> yeah, like I always do. But yeah, you know, it's like The Innocence was not very good. I mean, I understand it was the 60s, but it's just like, even The Exorcist, which came out <laughs> 12 years later, still better than this. Yeah. I just don't know about this. It's like, it's not great. <laughs> It's just not really good. I don't know. I just honestly did not like it. Yeah. I honestly did not like it. I don't know. Again, it could have been shorter. It, I wish it could have made sense because most of this movie makes no sense at all. Because she sees things and it's like, then, she, then the maid leaves. It's like, what is this movie anymore? And it's like the kid dies for no reason, except for the girl for some reason. And it's just like, everything about it sucks. The acting is fine, I guess, for 1960s standards. But I've seen The Birds, and The Birds is better than this. And that came out like in the, also in the, in the same decade of the 60s. But again, it's just, eh. Not great. No. Maybe the 2015 remake from Fiance will be better. But it's just, I don't know. This movie's just not great. So you can skip it or watch it. I don't care what you guys do. So yeah, that was the, the Innocence. Final thoughts? Better than The Spiral of Staircase, Hereditary, Midsummer, and The Wicker Man. Because those are both terrible, scary movies I watched recently. <coughs> oh yeah, and The Omen too. God, The Omen. Yeah, I'll get to that eventually. Once I watch the sequels and the remake and then I'll do all The Omen movies. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Please comment down below what you want me to watch next. And yeah. And so yeah, I'm going to be doing that. And be on the lookout for the next video, which is going to be Disenchantment, the whole series for now, until the odd season 4, because I just finished watching season 3, and I have a lot to talk about that. So yeah, see you guys next time.